Now there's a couple of rules of abstract painting that also help. It's called the 75-25. 75% pure color, 25 dull, or reverse it. 75 dull and 25 pure. So that you don't have equal amounts of really pure color, you need the dull color to offset it. So I've got some pretty good pure color here. And now I'm, this has got a little tint of red in the background from the reflection of the flower on the surface. <laughs> Just like what you guys are going to do. <laughs> No glove, huh? <laughs> no glove. But I'm going to go from touching paint with my hands, then that's the way I'm going. Okay, too much water. <laughs> now you can still use brushes. I'm just wanting to get the first layer very loose. And then as I work, I turn it. You guys are all probably saying, wow, what a mess that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about having fun. Okay, so getting a little heavy in this corner. So I've got to balance that. Now, there's also the rule of odd and even numbers. We've got two big shapes of pink. There should be one, three, or five. So, and it doesn't have to be big, it just has to be there. Cutting in an edge here. But I kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. Then there's graphite pencils. Okay. This can act as a resist, as you can see. Yes, I'm trying to get drips. <laughs> For stems and, and things like yeah, that. Yeah, or, or twi whatever. twigs, whatever's uh -huh. in here, just to add a little interest. Um, <clears throat> the more the paint you put on, the more drips you get. So I just loaded up with green right there with a palette knife. Mm -hmm. And now I'm getting more drips. Okay. Feeling the flower might be a little too big and pronounced. So how am I going to get rid of that? Change the color on part of it. Wipe it off. <laughs> Acrylics are so versatile. You could either let it dry and paint over it, or you can just wipe it off. See, now I like it so that it's smaller already. All right, so you guys all understand that this is a process, right? <laughs> this may not look like anything tonight, but I will post it when I finish it after tonight. Um, but I'm going through and I'm thinking, I'm thinking of balance and shapes. Um, and that's why I went in there and took out the flower was too big. And I want to get dull colors around it. And that's the other thing I do a lot in my studio. I have to stand it up and then I have to walk away. You always have to turn and look at it with fresh eyes. And then things jump out at you. 
these two are too close together. <laughs> right? So sometimes you start off with an idea of a photo and then you're gone. You're off and running. All right, I'm going to stop for a few minutes. So you're going to start. <laughs>